Wojak got a taste of what it's like to work remote during the pandemic and absolutely loved it. It freed up so much of his time, his energy, and he saved a bunch of money not having to drive to work and pay for expensive lunches. He absolutely loved working remote and he wanted to do it forever. But then his company called him back to the office and he hated it, but he went back because he had to. All of a sudden, he didn't have the time, energy, or money needed to focus on himself and he progressively got more and more miserable. So he started searching for remote jobs again, but all the videos online were confusing, talked about the same jobs over and over again, or they were just straight up demotivating. So he gave up and he accepted that he's gonna work a nine to five job forever. Until one day he stumbled on a Shane Hamas video. And this video showed him the secrets to landing a remote job. And his brain grew three sizes. He implemented what he saw in the video, landed a remote job and never looked back. Okay, all joking aside, being able to work a remote job completely changed my life. And it's also changed the lives of a bunch of the viewers of this channel. For instance, Juan was watching my channel a few years back just like you are right now. He was stuck in a dead-end job that he hated, and he didn't believe that he could escape and land a high-paying digital career. And even though he was skeptical of my video, he also was inspired, and he followed my advice and he was able to land a job in four months. How long did it take you uh, to get a job once you joined the uh, program? Um, so I think it was, I think about six months, um, but I do have to say, there was two months where I did have to take a break after the course, uh, just for, you know, personal reasons and stuff happening uh, in my life. So I had to take two months off, but yeah, it, it was about like six months or so. And this job completely changed his life. And you can too. All you have to do is pay attention to the video and implement what I tell you. So without further ado, let's talk about these seven online work from home jobs that you can actually land in 2024. And number one on the list is going to be a returns specialist. Now you can work as a return specialist in many different industries, but a lot of the time you're gonna be working with medical devices. And you're almost gonna be like an ATM for medical devices, handling all of the withdrawals and deposits. And you're basically coordinating and managing the returns of rented medical devices from patients, ensuring a smooth and efficient process. And in some cases, you'll also be managing returns for customer refunds as well. And this is crucial for keeping your customers happy and coming back over and over again. So return specialists make about 41 to $61,000 a year. And this is not bad considering it's a relatively easy job to land and it typically doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. So overall, I like this one. This is one of the many healthcare or medical related careers where they're relatively easy to land. It's very stable. It pays decently well, and you don't have to have a college degree or previous experience in most cases to get in because they do require training, but they will actually train you themselves and they'll pay you to get trained. So overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. Quick break, so I know you guys wanna know where I'm headed and like all the different places I go to because I work remote and you also wanna know how you can work remote as well. And that's something that I share a lot of on Instagram. So definitely follow me. I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. I also answer people's questions via DM if you reach out to me on Instagram. So it's a really good place to get a hold of me. So definitely send me a message on Instagram if you want to work remote and you want help doing that. Uh, link is in the description and the comment below. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Next is going to be one that sounds very similar and that is a revenue specialist. And this is where you basically ensure accurate insurance coverage and reimbursement for clients. And a lot of the time you're also going to be working in the medical industry. So this is very similar to medical coding or medical billing, except Except it's more like being a detective and making sure that everything was coded and billed correctly. And you get paid a little bit more. So you make about 52 to $75,000 a year. And of course, I worked in the medical industry and I spent a lot of time dealing with insurance and medical coding and medical billing. And it is something that you have to learn and get better at. But of course, with my medical job, I was able to start a business on the side, use YouTube in order to drive growth and revenue to the business, and then escape nine to five and I've never had to work again. And by the way, if you're interested in learning exactly how I grew my YouTube channel, I basically get give everything away completely free with like an ultimate YouTube guide, which I'll put down below. I don't really hold anything back. It's my entire strategy for how I grew on YouTube. And it's not something that you're gonna hear about anywhere else. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is gonna be a selling support partner associate. And this is going to be a sales related job. And I've said many times before on this channel, everyone should do a sales job at least once in their lifetime. This is one of the many options out there for you. Now in this particular one, you're actually going to be giving support to the sellers and you're gonna be doing it on Amazon. 
Amazon or other e-commerce type websites, but you can also do it for other types of products or services. And you're gonna be kind of like a doctor diagnosing the problem that the Amazon seller has, and then making sure that you solve it so that they can have a healthy and thriving business. And selling associates make about 38 to $57,000 a year, typically a position that does not require a college degree previous experience, and it's easy to get into. Now, another position you could go into later on down the line would be a seller support manager. They make about 88 to 145 thousand dollars a year. So this one's decent starting out and there's even better jobs down the line. You even have senior account managers making 131 to 229 thousand dollars a year. And that's where you'd be working very closely with some of the biggest accounts, for instance, on Amazon. Accounts that might be bringing in tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue. So yeah, really good stuff, really good opportunity here. Also, I've said it many times on this channel, if you want to get into some kind of sales related position, I think that's an amazing idea. I don't think anyone ever regrets doing that, even if they don't want to do sales down the line. And it's the most common position that millionaires and billionaires have in their background. And one of the absolute easiest ways is to get into tech sales, which is exactly what Ben did, who I interviewed on my channel. He was able to go from being a janitor to getting a tech sales job. Right before I was in tech sales, I was a janitor, actually. And he was making $80,000 per year in his first year without any experience. I make a 50K base with 30K commission. So I make 80 a year as long as I hit quota. And if you wanna know the exact training that he went through that's gonna show exactly how he did that, I'm gonna put that down in the description in the pinned comment below so you can check it out and do it yourself. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Speaking of a tech sales job, there is a position you can go into called a graduate sales development representative. And this is actually a position that's designed for people who have just recently graduated. And what you'll be doing is prospecting, engaging, and helping to close new business deals, in many cases for a software company. And entry-level SDRs and BDRs make about six to $115,000 a year. And that's what it's known as a sales development representative or business development representative. And you can move into higher paying jobs down the line, such as an account executive, they make 114 to $209,000 a year, and a sales manager, they make 124 to $232,000 a year. Some similar positions you could go into that have a similar skill set would be a lead generation specialist, they make about 53 to $85,000 a year, or a sales coordinator, they make about 55 to $81,000 a year. So yeah, really good opportunity. Again, free training down in the description and the pinned comment below. You don't have to be a recent graduate. However, there's a lot of people who graduate with degrees. They're not really happy with the job prospect they get from the degree because it was a useless degree. And then of course they go into a career like this. So this one is excellent. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a client services specialist. This is where you handle customer inquiries, resolve billing issues, and in some cases make outbound sales calls. So this is kind of like a combination of a customer service representative and a sales position. Because in many cases, the solution to a customer's problem problem may be to upgrade to a higher level of service. And if you can convince them to do that, then the company makes more money and the customer is happy. And that's why you make a bit more with this position than a typical customer service representative position. You actually make around 49 to $68,000 a year. And you can move into a position such as client services manager. They make 80 to $134,000 a year. Or even client services director. They make 122 to $216,000 a year. And yeah, pretty good opportunity. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a social media support specialist. And this is a customer service position, but it's specifically going to be answering questions via social media. So it's kind of like customer support mixed with content creation, mixed with a little bit of public relations. And you might be answering questions via DM, live chat, or in some cases, responding to questions publicly. And some key statistics here is the live chat industry is likely worth around a billion dollars. 41% of consumers prefer live chat support, which is more than any other type of support, with number two being 32% of consumers preferring phone support. And live chat has the second highest customer satisfaction rating at 85%. And in this position, you make more than a customer service representative. You make around 46 to $67,000 a year. And most people say that it's actually easier than being a customer support representative as well, because you have plenty of time to look up the answers and you're not just gonna get put on the spot. Now you can also graduate into a higher level position such as a social media support manager. They make 64 to $110,000 a year or a social media support director. They make 80 to $145,000 a year. A similar position might be a social media community manager, which makes forty-five dollars to $72,000 a year. So yeah, I like this one. Good opportunity, relatively easy to land as well. This one's especially good if you're on the younger side. I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be remote healthcare data entry. Now this is like data entry, but it pays a little bit better. And the reason for that is because you have the healthcare component. And that means 
means you're gonna have to know a little bit about healthcare, things like coding and health terminology. It's not that difficult to learn. You could probably learn how to do it within a few days. And you're basically just making sure that you are entering in the information correctly and you're doing it efficiently as well. And you can make around 40 to $57,000 a year. Lots of remote jobs available, relatively easy to get into, doesn't usually require a college degree or previous experience. There's a lot to like here. But with that being said, uh, there's not that many jobs that you can easily get into. It is a good way to get your foot in the door in the healthcare industry, but you're likely gonna have to go back to school if you wanna get the higher paying healthcare jobs. With that being said, there are similar jobs that have similar skill sets, such as medical coding specialists. They make about 47 to $69,000 a year. So yeah, this one's pretty decent. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you haven't seen it already, I did make a video of the seven remote jobs that are almost always hiring. That video went viral, got over a million views, and you can check it out by clicking right here.